Hi, my name is David, otherwise known as Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I'm here with a 21 Sear Sinville Mini Split. This is the outdoor unit. The two indoor units are sitting over in a shed right over here. The outdoor unit, the two indoor units, and two sets of line sets showed up on this pallet delivered by FedEx today. They deliver it freight, so it was a little bit different than my other mini split, which was delivered by just regular UPS. But I'm going to start getting this air conditioner unboxed and I'm going to set it up in the corner right over there and start figuring out what I've got to go through to get this installed. This is the second mini split that I've done. So hopefully it'll go smoothly. I haven't done one by Sinville before yet, but we'll see if it goes smooth. And I'm going to walk through getting that installed starting today. These are the two inside air handling units. These two boxes along with these two boxes showed up on that pallet with the main outside unit. The, these two boxes each contain one line set, the drain hose, and the power wire that runs from the outside unit to the inside unit. The inside unit also came with a bag and a template to install this unit on the wall. In the box with the inside unit was this template, which that's going to come in very handy for locating the spot to drill the hole on the wall. Also had this bag with a remote, uh, a mount for the remote, the instructions, and whatever that is in that little cardboard box there. I'm going to be installing this outside unit on a concrete pad somewhere on the side of this wall. And we're going to be taking out these window air conditioners and running the line sets up the walls. I'm going to be drilling a hole in the wall on either side of these windows and running the line set through those holes. There's two bedrooms on the other side of this wall. And so this dual unit is going to feed air conditioning into the two bedrooms that are here on this wall here. So I'm going to start by locating a place to set the concrete pad. The system comes with 25 foot line sets so I should be able to reach pretty much anywhere on this wall to connect to the inside air handler so I might just put the concrete pad for the outside unit Right there in the corner right there and so now I'm going to start unboxing the outside unit This unit is quite a bit larger and quite a bit heavier 
than the other unit that I installed previously. We're gonna see how this goes. It's definitely pretty heavy. direction you've got about 36 inches and about 14 inches across there and about 29 27 and a half inches tall so this is definitely a significantly larger unit than the one I did previously, but it's a lot more efficient as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy installed and start setting the concrete pad and drill the holes through the wall, and hopefully, I get this installed pretty quick. All right, thanks. This has been David with Tennessee Valley Solar and Mr. DIY Solar.